Representative Matt Gates rings the alarm on latest FBI bombshell. The United States of America is in jeopardy by Joshua Kaplan for the Gateway Pundit.com. Representative Matt Gates joined Hannity Monday evening to give his take on the latest bombshell to rock the FBI. The Florida Republican told Fox News host Sean Hannity he believes the missing Strzok page text messages illustrate how precarious of a position the United States is in when it comes to law and order. It's, it is no longer disputable that a pro-Hillary Clinton anti-Donald Trump bias has intractably infected the FBI and the United States of America is in jeopardy as a consequence, warned Gates. At Fox News here, Representative Gates on possible Mueller pro bias missing hashtag FBI tax. It is no longer disputable that the that a pro Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump bias uh, has intractably infected the FBI and the United States is in jeopardy. It is no longer disputable that a pro Hillary Clinton anti Donald Trump bias has intractably infected the FBI and the United States of America is in jeopardy as a consequence. And Sean, you laid out a great timeline, but there are even more damaging facts to come. I know that's hard to believe, but trust me, around the corner, we're going to be learning even more about how infected this investigation is, particularly the Mueller probe. Just look at this. In August, you had Strzok and Page saying they were going to be the insurance policy. They were going to save America from a Trump how presidency. How much worse and how, you got to get bring us into your world here. How? Well, Sean, I, I can say this. Wait till you overlay this five months of dark period with the memo that we want to release. It will, these are not isolated incidents that are separated from one another. You have to evaluate these things together. Do you together. believe they're missing? Because I don't buy it. After Lois Lerner, after Hillary Clinton, bleach fit, acid wash, well, hammering this is the devices. I don't buy it. I don't. Debbie Wasserman Schultz smashed hard drive. This is bull. This well, is the now. American people are never going to believe that two days after Barack Obama sicked the intelligence community on President Trump, that all of a sudden these text messages went dark, and then they just happened to reappear and come alive the day after Robert Mueller is selected to be the special Bologna. counsel. It would be the coincidence of all coincidences. All right. Well, among the messages in is an exchange revealing Strzok and Page discussed an insurance policy against uh, a Trump presidency. The Wall Street Journal reported an FBI agent uh, reference to an insurance policy in a much debated text message was sent, was meant, uh, excuse me, to convey that the Bureau needed to aggressively investigate allegations of collusion between Donald Trump's campaign and Russia, according to people familiar with his account. Early in the evening, Representative Ron DeSantis told Fox News host Lou Dobbs he does not believe the ex, uh, FBI's explanation for the missing text, reported the Gateway Pundit's Jim Hoft. Representative Ron DeSantis, we need to find out where the actual devices are that Page and Strzok utilize. There's no reason they shouldn't be produced. We need an answer on that. And even if there was some type of glitch, the idea that the text messages disappear, that is not the way it works with modern technology. I don't buy this explanation. We need more. Think about this, too. If the FBI were investigating any of your listeners and they said, oh, documents magically deleted or whatever, the FBI was looking for magically deleted. Do you think for one minute that they would be able to get away with it? So similar to the IRS, you can't have a situation where a powerful government agency gets to live under a lower standard. I agree with that. Um, on Sunday, we learned uh, additional uh, text messages sent and received by disgraced FBI agent Peter Strzok had been handed over to Congress in yet another twist to the Strzok saga. The FBI failed to hand over a block of the agent's text messages between December 14, 2016 and May 17, 2017 because they went, quote, missing. Yeah, right.
Joining me now on the latest efforts to make that intelligence memo public, the FBI's failure to preserve those text messages or outright destroy them, and much more. Joining us tonight is Congressman Ron DeSantis, member of several key committees, including Foreign Affairs, Judiciary, and Oversight, and now also a candidate for governor of the great state of Florida. Great to have you with us, Congressman. Let's, let's start with 50,000 emails between two employees of the Justice Department and the fact they had time to write that many. And secondly, That's a good one. the ability of the, uh, of the deep state, if you will, the permanent government, as in the case of Lois Lerner and the IRS, we have again encountered the glitch a missing set of emails against all logic, all reason, and all experience. What in the world is going on? A few things, Lou. One is, we need to figure out where the actual devices were that Page and Strzok utilized. There's no reason those shouldn't be produced. We need an answer on that. And even if there was some type of glitch, the idea that these text messages just disappear, that is not the way it works with modern technology. I don't buy this explanation. We need more. Think about this, too. If the FBI were in investigating any one of your listeners and they said, oh, documents magically deleted or whatever the FBI was looking for magically deleted, do you think for one minute that they would be able to get away with that? So similar to the IRS, you can't have a situation in which a powerful government agency gets to live under a lower standard than that which it imposes on the American public. And the final thing I think is, what a critical time period in this whole investigation. I mean, think about it. You're in the Trump transition to start. That was when that discredited dossier was produced for the first time and published by the news media. What were Strzok and Page talking about the dossier? It was also during Trump's early days in the White House when Michael Flynn was interviewed, uh, when different things involving Comey occurred. Are you telling me that they weren't saying all kinds of stuff in those 50,000 messages? These are anti-Trump agents, and it's not just that they were anti-Trump. We already know from the messages we already saw that that affected what they were doing in their jobs. It's, it is, in point of fact, it's not as if they had a bias or that they're anti. I mean, they were on an absolute mission uh, to stop Donald Trump if they could, and apparently if they could not, to destroy his presidency. I mean, this is... I, I don't understand how Christopher Ray, anyone in Congress, can accept Christopher Ray walking up and saying uh, they, they were lost, uh, they were deleted. Whatever he has to say, produce them, and, and he did this with a straight face. Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI. It's, it's, un, it's unacceptable. We are not accepting it. This is just the beginning. We are going to get the answers. Um, but also think about the struck page messages that were recently produced in this second batch. Right. right when Donald Trump defeated Ted Cruz in Indiana, Strzok and Page are texting back saying, oh my gosh, Trump has won the nomination. And what was Strzok's main response to that? Again, he's leading the Hillary investigation as the top FBI agent. He says, well, now the pressure builds to bring the Clinton investigation to a close. How does it follow from that? I mean, that is what the guy's bias was telling him to do. It's really outrageous. It is outrageous. And the Department of Justice and the FBI congressman have become outrageous in and of themselves. Uh, I, I cannot understand why there, is, there would be any other response on the part uh, of Devin Nunes, the head of the committee, uh, the Republican leadership, uh, other than to order in U.S. Marshals into the Justice Department I would and agree. say we want all of the records sealed for, for the top levels of the FBI and the Department of Justice. They're carrying out a campaign not only of uh, denying oversight, their, their constitutional responsibility as it is yours to oversee those uh, to that agency and that department. They are absolutely just flaunting law and order and the Constitution, and it is, it is beyond the pale that it can be tolerated. This is not a time for an IG inspector's report. This is time for criminal uh, national security investigations of the two agencies uh, who bear immense responsibility for national security. Yeah, I say arrest them. 
what are you talking about? And here Ray is saying if uh, I'm not firing Andrew McKay because I'm going to leave if you fire. They should all be arrested for this. They, uh, we'd be arrested for much less than that. Are you kidding me? This is like disgraceful. Well, I think it is clear that the FBI and the DOJ are not going to be able to investigate themselves adequately. Right. And if you do do a special counsel, Lou, I think it's imperative that that special counsel not just be another swamp dweller. I right. want somebody outside the swamp who doesn't have any relationships with either of these agencies that could really go in and, and clean this up. Um, and think about, too, the bias against Donald Trump, I think, is very significant. It's important. But also the mere fact that Strzok and Page, they're having this liaison. They're texting about really sensitive matters. They're opening themselves up to blackmail from, from our enemies. I mean, that is reckless conduct, even if they weren't politically biased, to be doing that. And somehow they're still working in the yeah. Bureau? Yeah. Hey, hey, as you tweeted today, you would say FBI Director Ray needs to provide an explanation. This is... I understand that there are great constraints and, and hurdles for the Congress to move here quickly with the great alacrity. But this has now become an urgent national security crisis for the reasons you've described here tonight, uh, for some of the reasons that I had mentioned. Uh, we know now the corruption, and there's no question about the corruption. The evidence is already public. We have a four-page memo that we don't seem to be able, even though every congressman, including yourself, who has read that memo, says it is a matter that goes to the heart of the, the survival of the republic. What in the world? At what point do we have to declare, take charge, get this thing handled, and no more business as usual, even well, under these grave circumstances? I, I've been fighting them to make that memo public. I can tell you, it is going to happen. I think that there are just, there's precautions that are being taken on the Intel Committee, which I understand, to make sure that when that's done, that there's not damage to any sources and methods. And I don't think there will be. I think they'll do that. So that is being vetted. That is going to happen. And the public will get uh, at least that part of the story. There's other parts of the story that are going to come out, too. So we will do that. And in terms of Christopher Ray, he needs to be brought before the Congress under oath. And he's got to answer these questions very soon. Uh, you know, we're breaking now after the shutdown ended. The president's going to give his State of the Union. Uh, I think shortly after that State of the Union, uh, we need Ray uh, under the Clegg lights, uh, under oath, to answer these questions. I know that you I, 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 and I share a great fear that having this many missing uh, emails uh, and communications disappear that what we're fighting against is also uh, all of us who are concerned for the survival of this country. What we're fighting against is the prospect that a lot of evidence is being destroyed by the very people who should be preserving it. Uh, so the issue becomes, uh, the crisis becomes compounded. Congressman, uh, it's a, I have to say to you personally, I feel a lot better knowing that you are involved uh, in leading uh, the efforts there. Congressman Ron DeSantis, thank you. Thanks, Lou. Uh, and you know what I was thinking of? They need, they're they going to go in front of Congress. Uh, they're going to put Ray in front of Congress, right? How about the IT workers, the Wasserman Schultz's IT workers that were getting information off the congressman? That's how they blackmail the congressman? You know, this runs so deep that like in other words will congress be able to do their job because you know they're guilty of a lot of things in congress also what do you think those it workers or the Wan brothers were doing collecting info from congress you know what i'm saying so you know the corruption oh my it i don't know how this mess is going to be cleaned up but what i'm saying is that executive order that uh, Trump uh, did on December 21st, preparing Gitmo, uh, I think a lot of people are going to go to prison. And what did they say? Like, uh, uh, I guess it's going to be arrest by the military. I think that's what's going to take place because this is spread so far and wide. It's like a big spider web. Wow, this is like really, really, really shocking because it's not just one person. 
it's uh, it's practically most of the government. Uh, it, it it's scary. It's scary. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.